After reviewing this digital content, you will be able to Define fractions Know how to write fraction names Define and identify the numerator and denominator Identify like fractions Know how to arrange like fractions Today is Rima's birthday. She is going out for a party with her friends. They all went to have pizza. Let's order two pizzas, one large and one small. Okay, Rima. Wow! This large pizza has six equal parts and the small pizza has four equal parts. I'll have one piece from these six pieces of pizza. I'll have two pieces from these four pieces of pizza. Have you noticed the numbers? One by six, two by four. These numbers are called fractions. Let's first define what is a fraction. Fractions are parts of a whole. Look at the fraction 3 by 7. The number written at the top is called numerator. The number written at the bottom is called denominator. We read this as 3 seventh. Fractions having the same denominators are called like fractions. 3 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7. All these are like fractions. Let's now learn how to order fractions. Look at the following circles. In first circle, two parts are shaded. So the fraction is 2 by 12. In second circle, Four parts are shaded. So the fraction is 4 by 12. Which shaded part is greater? 2 by 12 or 4 by 12? Yes, 4 by 12 is greater. We write 4 by 12 is greater than 2 by 12. This brings us to the conclusion that if two fractions have same denominators, the fraction having greater numerator represents the greater fraction. For example, 5 by 6 is greater than 4 by 6, which is greater than 3 by 6. Let's now learn how to add like fractions. Add the numerators and keep the denominators as it is. Let's see this example. Here we just have added numerators keeping the denominators as they are. Similarly, while subtracting fractions, subtract numerators, keeping the denominator as it is. Let's see this example. For more such fantastic videos, follow Top Scholars.